we are looking at uh, chapter number 11 which is force and pressure force and pressure will be taking question answer on force and pressure first is give two examples of each of the situation in which you push or pull to change the state of motion of objects so something is moving how do we change the motion of that object uh, like hitting the ball kicking the football all uh, are the example you can push also something something like uh, a boy is swinging now you are changing the position of the moving object so you can answer like this so hitting the ball kicking to football these are all the examples give the examples of situation in which applied force causes a change in the shape of an object now you have clay say you have say uh, say plado for kids now you change the shape of this object and it takes the object the shape of the object when when specially clay dries up so stretching the rubber belt or rubber or reshaping clay to make toys are the examples fill in the blanks in the following statement to draw water from a well we have to pull pull the rope a charged body dash an uncharged body towards it attracts this is the attracts to move a loaded trolley we have to push it here this is the friend in the blanks you have to push it the north pole of a magnet dash the north pole of another magnet repels repels so these are the answer pull attract push and repels an archer now archer stretches uh, her bow so this is say uh, this is the uh, bow and this is the arrow now which begins to move towards the target based on the information fill up the gaps in the following statement using the following terms we have muscular contact non contact gravity friction shape attraction first is to stretch the bow the archer applies a force that causes a change in its what in its shape how this shape changes right when you pull this string the bow shape changes next the force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of contact force we'll use this one contact force next is the type of force responsible for a change in the state of motion of, of the arrow is an example of a force so this is example of a what force which is muscular force this is the in the blanks muscular force while the arrow moves towards the target the force acting on it are due to gravity first of all the if the arrow is moving like this gravity effects on it and also the friction of the air because it is moving in the medium which is air these are the following situations we need to identify the agent exerting the force in the object on which it acts we have to state the effect of the force in each case so we'll make a table of this that will be better first the first one squeezing a piece of lemon between the fingers to extract its juice so agent is fingers your finger the object is lemon and when you apply force with your fingers on the lemon the juice is extracted next fingers taking paste uh, out uh, the paste from the tooth toothpaste tube this is again you are pressing fingers and toothpaste tube so toothpaste is coming out by the force that is how you use this this toothpaste then a load suspended from a spring while its other end is on a hook fixed to a wall so here we have agent as load the object as spring and then we have effect as the expansion of spring next is an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at a certain height so here we have athlete as the agent the object is again the athlete body because athlete this is the bar he is going to jump over this bar so he is taking his own body so the object will be athlete's body and the effect will be athlete jump over the bar next is a blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool how does the force due to due to hammering affect the piece of iron see when the iron is hot it can be molded it can now it is in a state when it is hammered it can be molded or the shape can be changed so the force due to hammering change the shape of the piece of the iron an inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it has been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth 
it was found that the balloon sticks to the wall what force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall see this is a balloon so when you rub it with the synthetic synthetic cloth this gets charged and whenever it is say subjected to uncharged uh, object like a wall so it attracts and the charge this wants to get uncharged to transfer its charge to the wall so that is how you see them gets attracted and the force which, which is responsible for the attraction between the wall and the ball is the electrostatic force what force electrostatic force name the forces acting on a plastic bucket if this is a plastic bucket is a plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand so you, you with your hand it's it's standing there now you have say this is the ground discuss why the force acting on the bucket do not bring changes in its state of motion because the force you are applying here and the gravitational force are are nullifying each other if this is f this is minus f so f plus minus f will be equal to zero so the gravitational or the force which are acting on a plastic bucket first is your gravitational force and then you have a muscular force this one so it is applied by our hands to lift the bucket in upward direction these force as i said they are acting on the bucket but do not change uh, change the position a state of motion because two forces they are balancing each other and as a, result, as a result the net force will be zero a rocket has been fired upward to launch a satellite in its orbit name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad so this is a launching pad and this is the rocket which is going up so what are the forces what are the forces first of all there is inside force which is by the which i which is by the say propellant force which is actually propelling or uh, making this this uh, rocket to lift up with satellite in it but the force is acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad first of all it's because it is uh, in air so it is frictional force and then gravity also is applied so force of gravity pulling its it in downward direction when we press the bulb of a dropper with, with its nozzle so if this is a dropper this is a dropper so when you press this when you press this inside a water some bubbles will come out when you release it the water will come inside so what is the scenario what why this water is coming inside this is because the atmospheric pressure the rise of the water in the dropper is due to atmospheric pressure so this is all about this uh, question answers on force and pressure thank you so much and take care of yourself